Good gear in Star Rail takes a long time to come by. Not only is much of our energy spent farming up ascension materials and traces, but even when we do actually get the opportunity to farm gear, the odds are literally stacked against you. That's why today, I'll teach you how to make the most out of the garbage that ends up in your inventory. Tip number one, if you want to gear up as quickly as possible, use this method. Pick one to three DPS characters you want to raise, look for a domain that overlaps with them. If you ended up finding one, that's great. Now you know what to farm. If there is no domain that overlaps with them, pick one character to make your main carry, and then farm their set. While your goal is eventually to get the four piece set for your DPS, do not tunnel on the set effect. Because your goal is to prioritize making one great unit over making multiple mediocre units, make sure you're taking good offset pieces and giving them to your main carry until you find an onset piece that is perfect for them. Set effects are strong, but they're not worth sacrificing good stats for. Tip number two, with a few exceptions, using resources on your supports is generally a waste. What do I mean by that? Did you know that for every 10% attack Ting Yun has, she only gives your carry 20 or flat attack. The difference is so negligible, it makes you wonder why people aren't just using full tank gear on their Chingun to make use of her universal taunt. Until you have a lot of relic EXP, you should generally only enhance pieces for your supports if they have speed on them, or if you need the main stat in the case of either an energy recharge rope or maybe an outgoing healing chest for my queen. For the rest of your supports gear, just take pieces that didn't roll well for your DPS and throw them onto your supports like I did for these Tingyun's boots. Yeah, she can't use any of these stats, but this same exact pair of boots carried me through MO 36 stars as a free to play. Tip number three, three stat pieces are better than you think, but not for the reason that you when you look at this boot, you may see some pretty decent substat, for support that is. I look at this boot differently. All it would take is one roll in either crit rate or crit damage, and now I have the potential to have a 30 crit value boot. I would use a 30 crit value speed boot, and if you're watching this, you would too. If you are not enhancing these pieces with three substats that have great main stats, you are missing out on huge potential. In the worst case, you fodder the relic that ended up missing, and you get 80% of your relic EXP back. That's a pretty good trade given how hard it is to get pieces with good main stats let alone substats on top of that. Now, if you're worried about the relic EXP you would get from dismantling the relic, if you're concerned that you'll miss out on the relic crafting materials from dismantling the relic, this next tip has you covered. Tip number four, stop getting baited by relic crafting. Every five-star relic you dismantle may seem like one-tenth of a new piece, but don't forget, you still have to roll the main stat on that piece if you're not using self-modeling resin. In the case of speed boots, for example, that means you now have a one in nine chance of actually hitting speed. This averages out to meaning one piece equals 190th of a speed boot. While this adds up over time, and I'm not telling you not to participate in the system, do not be afraid of enhancing gear just because you want to dismantle it. If you're still scared, here's another way of thinking about it. Would you have better gear if you fished for substats on 90 different pieces of gear, or if you ended up making one random speed boot that has random substats on it anyway? Tip number five, Star Rail is a game that you are going to be playing for a long time if you want good relic. And as such, you're going to get many simulated universe rewards. Each one of these rewards gives you the equivalent of 160 energy in the form of simulated universe tokens. And over time, this is going to add up. Look at my inventory right now and see how many great orbs and ropes I have. Energy recharge for every set, double crit, elemental damage orb. I wish I could take those tokens and use them on like hackerspace or something. So what's the tip here? Don't get baited into farming great orbs and ropes like I did, because you'll end up with amazing ones eventually. Here's a bonus tip for those who made it to the end. If you are still having issues with your gear, you can reach out to me personally. I stream daily at 2 p.m. EST on Twitch at twitch.tv slash Rin, and I will answer any questions related to your gear. Not only that, but if you want me to go onto your account and just clean up the whole thing myself, I can have that arranged. I've done that for others in the past, and I can help you too. If you like these kinds of videos, like, comment, and subscribe. Help the algorithm out, help me out, and let me know what you want to see in the future. Until next time, take care.